Hi there, children of God. Once more we meet for the Lord. You must be really confused by the title. You must be like Mia. What do you mean your Jesus morning routine? You're Jewish. And to that I'll say, Amen. Another thing you might be wondering is why a bunny just took a bite of my chocolate chip cookie. Oh wait, actually you're not wondering that because you didn't see the bunny. There, there you go. Oh, you're so cute. Why do I have a bunny right now? That's none of your business. But she's here, she's queer, and we're living for it. Without further ado, stop. Oh my God, just poop. Bunnies are great. Ugh, you did poop. Oh, great. Just let me just, just smoke, I'm just, I'm just gonna grab the poop so it's not stuck up your asshole. <laughs> so as I said, children of God, we are here for our morning routine with Jesus. How does my morning routine with Jesus begin? It starts with an ad, a two minute long ad, because Jesus loves that dough. This is my morning routine. And I do this because in Mark 135, it says that Jesus waking up very early in the morning, he went to a quiet place and there he prayed. He went to a quiet place? Is he okay? I didn't realize that's how Jesus died. I thought he was crucified because of some Jew. Oh my God, just to clarify, I'm not making fun of religion. I am literally, it's, it's just for fun and games, okay? Chill out. Enjoy some comedy, enjoy some jokes. And Jesus lived in such a way that we're called to live as he did. And so Jesus, he set aside a time in the morning to spend time with the Father. To go <laughs> I didn't even listen to what she said. She's just like standing next to the window, like. And that is so powerful because the moment I step outside of my bedroom door, I'm going to be attacked with lies upon lies upon lies from the enemy because we live in a world that is ruled by the father of lies. <laughs> Of course, of course. I woke up one time, I walked out my bedroom door. My father said he's gonna go buy some milk and he never came back. And that's the father of lies for you. Okay, the bunny's like now on my back and I am getting concerned. Okay, okay, I'm not your mom. Oh, you're such a baby. Are you the father of lies? Look at her red eyes. She's basically Satan. So it is crucial and it is essential that I get my armor of God on and I fill my heart with his truth. I usually keep my armor of God in the drawer. The drawer is also filled with God's truth. So I put my armor of God, I step outside and then the father of lies can't get to me, AKA the bunny can't get to me. We're all on to you. We know you're the father of lies. Why are you even trying to hide it? I start right there when I wake up. And the moment that my eyes open, I start singing. She's basically a Disney princess. When I wake up, I start singing as well. What do you think? I just wake up and <laughs> get out of bed and go brush my teeth. What am I, some kind of non-godly person? No, I, I start singing. I start singing. I start singing because I can't help it. I can't help it. My God is so good. Yeah, I can't help it either. I, uh, I can't. It goes like this. <sighs> I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come and gone, even trace of not we got gave away. Is it because my life is clear blue and unconditional skies red tears from my eyes and only cried? Right off the red hook for the four cookie cooks, such an enduring pain. I literally can't help it. I try. It just doesn't work. In the morning, he brings me word of his unfailing love. And I get so excited because just as the sun rises, I get to rise and be in his presence and I get to praise him. Okay, so now I just finished singing to my sweet Jesus. Jesus. Singing must have uh, taken a lot of effort for her. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say I'm that passionate about my morning singing. Uh, but maybe this is why I'm watching this video. Maybe I need to improve my Jesus morning routine so that I do get armpit stains when I sing. And then I put my feet over the bed and start dangling them because they don't reach. <laughs> and also because I don't want to take a single step until I give my every step to the Lord. I don't want to take a step until I give every step to the Lord. How are you going to calculate the exact steps you're going to take that day and give them to the Lord before even walking? So I go to turn on my lamp. And the moment that I turn on my lamp, I'm just reminded of how good God is. God is so good. It would be really funny if this girl is actually doing everything right to get into heaven. 
and we're out here like sinning every day. Like we're making fun of her now, but she's gonna be the one laughing when she's up there eating a feast with Jesus, watching us on a TV screen, walking into hell. But it is our fault because we didn't think about how good God is every time we turned on a lamp. We might as well start lining up to hell now. Because on my lamp, I have Psalm 119, 105. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Meaning I can tr Just saying, not trying to offend anyone, right? Like this is, this is the word of the Lord. Pretty sure Thomas Edison came a bit after that. I think we should change the Google page because it says the invention of a completely practical lamp ordinarily is credited to Edison. Should be changed to Jesus. I want God to become greater and I want, I want him to become all the more powerful. I want him to get the fame. I want him to get the likes. I okay, first of all, what? You want him to get the likes? You see God posting a TikTok like doing a renegade. That's definitely gonna get God on the free page and that is definitely gonna get him some likes. And... Now, second of all, you want God to get the fame. <laughs> Honey, I'm pretty sure God is famous enough. And even if God did need fame, he wouldn't approach you, sweetheart, with your 72.6 thousand subscribers. You'd probably go to Kylie Jenner and ask to have a lipstick named after him. Like, it could be Psalm 23, what? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It's just nine words. I'm sorry, but the fact that it's nine words and not ten kind of bothers me, and I feel like we need to talk about it, Emma Mae Jensen. If God has OCD, don't you think he'll be bothered by it? I wake up in the morning, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I go downstairs, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I walk in down the hallway of school, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I sip on my coffee. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I eat my chocolate chip cookie that the bunny took a bite of. I shall not want. I collect my dog's shit. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay, okay, but I have a question. What if God is actually German? Is he a German shepherd? Okay. <laughs> 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 actually made me laugh, what the fuck? Oh my God, oh my God, I should not make jokes ever. Or whenever that temptation does come, because you went private, before you went public, no matter when or where you are, uh-uh, Satan, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> uh-uh, Satan, uh-uh, mm -mm. not today, Satan, not today. Uh-uh, Satan, the Lord's my shepherd. So funny, you can see like Satan approaching her. She's like, uh-uh, Satan, the Lord is my shepherd. It's like the, um, it's like that fox in Dora. Dora's like, uh-uh, swiper. You shall not swipe. Dang it! Every time! Guess what? Whenever that trial does come, or whenever that temptation does come... My boyfriend comes to kiss me. Oh, oh temptation right there. Uh-uh, Satan. The Lord is my shepherd. I was preparing for a battle before a battle even ever came. I yeah, I'm just constantly around the house like, like a Tekken character. Sit still. Because I can't contain the beauty that God just did in my heart, you have to, you have to express it. Talking about burn up. Little what? What? What was that? And dangling my feet over my bed is just one of the ways that I, I love honoring the Lord. Yeah, that's how to honor the Lord. Yeah, so when God wants you to honor him, he just goes, You, dangle your feet over your bed. <laughs> that was me, my friend. I feel honored and you're going to heaven. And sometimes when we waltz, I just I just take his hand because his his hand She's standing there waiting for God to like hold it. It is righteous and his hand is my sh Oh, there you go. God got it. He got it. It took him a bit of a second. He's not that good with the ladies. She was giving him the hand, he was like, Oh, these are great nails. Yeah, he's a bit slow with the ladies, but he, he gets it eventually. And his hand lifts me high, and his, his hand upholds I just don't know, I just don't know if she's serious at this point. I thought she was serious, but now I'm not sure if she's serious, you know? And so genuine. God doesn't, he doesn't call us to be fake. <laughs> That's so hard and boring. He wants you to be real. Did y'all did see that? She's looking up, laughing her ass off. 
God's probably up there making faces, you know, because that's the um, basics of comedy, ask Lele Pons. She's just cracking up. Okay, I'm just gonna say one thing. I think you should judge people based on what's in their heart, based on their actions, based on what they do for others, for animals, especially for the helpless ones. I think where you come from doesn't mean squat and who you are as a person does. Because where you come from, you don't get to choose. But who you are, you definitely get to choose. So me and Bunny are gonna say goodbye. Oh, you're so cute. I just wanna eat your face. Oh. Are you mortified? It's okay. I'm nice. So as I said, Lord's my shepherd, I'm his pearl. Or whatever that sentence was. <laughs>